and violence and other kind of violence. Shootout between those two groups started right here at the mobile gas station early Thursday morning. Bullets were flying all across these lanes of traffic, hitting the dealership. Amazingly, no one was hurt. We we're looking at probably anywhere from 20 to 40 shots were fired. None of them struck anybody. It was close, though. It was just a wild fight as far as the shots that were fired. I mean, they were going in all different directions. Just look across the street on the other side of Van Dyke at this car dealership. Home Community College went into a brief lockdown. The shootout erupted at this mobile on the service drive in Warren at 10 o'clock Thursday morning. It appears that one was exiting the uh, gas station door and there was some sort of a bottle thrown. Uh, we're trying to confirm that, and that may have been what sparked the altercation. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson here live reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. When police got there, no one was cooperating. A quick review of surveillance video and Warren police nabbed two of the shooters. The other made a quick getaway. Warren Police Commissioner Bear, policing for 60 years, says he's never seen anything like these recent reckless shootings in Metro Detroit. We preach to them all the time, but it's like uh, preaching to the choir. I mean, they're going to do it. I mean, it's everyone is carrying a weapon, it seems. Dwyer says while major crime numbers are down in Warren, it's shootings like these that are just scary. But good news, he says they work hard to get the shooters. We've got the reputation now that, you know, if you commit a crime in Warren, 99% sure you're going to be arrested and you're going to be convicted. As we said, two of the shooters are in custody. Police still looking for that third shooter, but say they will find him eventually. Reporting and warning, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Gang violence and other kind of violence.